much as possible, but important to, you know, big big gains on first and second down. You see a nice play here out of this offense. Yeah, they go to Josh Cook, the tight end. Consistently, it's uh, it, it, it make it more than just a stop gap, and there's a ball on the ground. We talked about protecting it. Looks like Idaho State's going to get one here. Yeah, it appeared that Gabru tried to hand the ball off the cup before he caught it, and that's our... And Pilster in the shotgun, and again, design draw right up the middle. He's got the first down, down to the 16-yard line. Field goals. Kick is on its way. It's angling through, and it is good. And up. For Idaho State, if, if they're going to be going with Pilster for the entire game, uh, you got to think that, uh, that they're, they're definitely limited. And you know, One thing they'll want to use is go after this guy running right now like it's the last time he's going to see the inferno bad snap yeah we're right through Gabrut's hands and it's going to be recovered by Idaho State the second turnover of this game recovered by Joe Martin number 25 Madison still behind Pilster Pilster with time looking deep steps up didn't throw it now he's going to run it trying to get to the sideline and does and runs out of bounds near the first down is Sam that's K.W. Williams in motion. And the give to Madison, and he falls forward for the first down to the 39-yard line. He's always getting that single coverage and a, and a great security blanket for these quarterbacks. Once again, this running game for Eastern Washington stuffed at the line of scrimmage. So third down and eight. Again, the pressure right up the middle from Micah Braylon, number 52, and this time he gets to Gabrud. Pilster looking. Near side, ball away, caught by Mitch Guller. And in the backfield with Pilsner. Ma Mont er, Madison with the football. Great catch out there, but uh, Pilsner to throw. Pressure right up the middle. He got it away, and it's caught down there at the 28 yard line by Josh Cook. You know, Pilster's getting better as the game goes on. You know, he's he's looking for number 11, which is not executed the way that uh, you typically have seen. But again, we've talked about it here. They've they've not uh, chose not to in that case. Third down and one, two down territory now. Throw to the end zone and touchdown, Mitch Galore. Pocket collapsing. Pilster got through there, and it's wide open through the middle of that Eagle defense, and he scampers for the ball here in this game, as we've seen. Yeah, he's 220 pounds. Near side, catch is made by that tight end. That's Hagen in motion. Pilster with pressure right up the middle, rolls out, dumps it off. That's Madison near the goal line, and he's going to be pushed out of bounds. Keeper by Pilsner. He breaks a tackle, and he's into the end zone. Watching games, Greg, and we'll be trying to figure out uh, where's number 10. i gotta, I got to believe that uh, we may never see anybody wear that number in this program again. And I don't know if that was a good run. First down and 10 from midfield. And Custer with the football, the flip. And now Cup going to throw it, and wide open over the middle is Zach Wembley. He thought about the hurdle. And instead, but he may have fumbled the football at the 28-yard line as players are diving into that huddle or that pile. Well, Idaho State signaling that they have it, and they do. Yeah, I mean, and, and we've seen that, you know, even here with Eastern Washington is, you know, nice pass there from Pilster. Full quarter of football to go. Do you think about putting Cooper Cup on the bench or Gabe Gabrud on the bench? Throw to the end zone, picked off. And James Matt, but he's got obviously started that quarterback position. Yeah, and, and you know we're not sure what what's going on with the, with their.